Hi everyone, Alina from Xmate Mastery here. Today we're going to discuss the different ways to search in Xactimate. So in your estimate items tab, there are several different ways to search, and this is actually how I found some of the mac uh, items for my macro. So I've discovered new line items that I didn't know existed in Xactimate by using the uh, similar or related searches. So this is a pretty cool feature. There's also a way to search by picture. I don't know if you guys have ever utilized that, but I get asked a lot, like where do I find mailboxes or how do I find the chimney caps. You can actually click on those line items in the picture and it brings up the uh, line items uh, for labor materials for those areas. It's a really cool feature. So check out the different ways to search here. Let's go take a look. A lot of people ask me this question, what do I do when I can't find a line item? I know it's there, I've used it before, or if you're new to the program, you may not know what's included uh, in a line item and may need to inform yourself on whether there's further labor and materials to be added. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and open up an estimate here. And in the estimate items tab, right over here, we're going to take a look. And as you can see, this is your search window here. Okay, so I've got my search window. By the way, if your search window ever goes missing, in the top right corner, you've got a show. You can drop that down and make sure your search is checked off there. So your search window should always show. Whenever you pull up your search window or open an estimate, it brings you to what's called the reference search. So the reference search is a picture of the home, of course, uh, that you can see here. You've got all these little illustrations. And let's go ahead and scroll down here and, and look at the roof section. So if I click on that roof picture, uh, perhaps you're new to the industry and you don't know what something is called. You can visually look at this and hover over and see that this, oh, those are called trusses. Let's see, what is the program calling this? Sheathing, nice. Okay, so if I wanted to find my sheathing options, I could then click on that sheathing. And there you are. You've got a bunch of different options here. You've got your framing category and your RFG or roofing category. So, of course, be sure to add the right sheathing for whatever category you're going to be using this for. But that's just an example. I love the click for search. Uh, this is called the reference search, but I like the, the click illustrations here whenever we're dealing with something like stairs and I can't remember the different components like what is this called ah a newel post this helps jog my memory helps me find something if I've never dealt with it before in the past or it's been two years since I've looked at it those kinds of situations you can visually see what you need here and I find it to be a lifesaver the other thing that you can do is highlight something like let's take the the roof let's just take the roof the shingle line item here we are with a replace only for shingles, and I can click on related. So what's what's related to this? What does it take to get this job done? Well, Xactware has set aside a group of line items that they think you need to you know help you get your roof completed. So related is other line items that you may find that you need to get the job done. So if I search for something like, let's say siding, Let's pick some uh, vinyl siding here, and I'm just going to use that as an example. Now, you have to have the line item highlighted first, okay? So that's kind of the step one. Add the line item would be step one. Step two would be to highlight the line item, okay? So it won't work if you just have nothing highlighted or you're out in blank space somewhere. So I'm going to highlight siding, and then I'm going to go to related here. So you have to actually highlight, then click, okay? It doesn't do it automatically. Click on related, and here we are. Clean with pressure spray. You got your um, your your foil-faced foam sheathing. Um, all kinds of fun stuff popped in here that are related to your um, your siding job. Now, what I've done is I've taken a lot of these lists and compiled my macros, so I don't have to go find this stuff again. I just add, build it, add it to my macro, and now it's saved uh, in the way and the order that I want, and it with the materials that I run into every day. So that's um, side note. A uh, little peek into how I create macros, and that's that's a simple and easy way to do that. So that's your related search. Another type of search that you can find useful is the similar search. So when I add something to my line item list, and I take a look at it, and go, well, that's not really what I need. I need something that's that's like this, but not not quite uh, fitting the bill here. Like for example, I've added this wood wrap wood window frame. I don't want it each here. Okay, I want a linear foot um, type item, so I can add what item I can find, and then I can go up to similar, 
And there it will show me all of my options. You've got your large, extra large. There's my per linear foot, exactly what I wanted. And that was found because I used similar. Okay, so related is how things related to getting that job done. Okay, so there's no related items here because it's pretty straightforward. You wrap the window. But um, similar is if you are frustrated and can't find that line item that seems to fit the bill, click, you know, add what you can to the estimate and then go ahead and click similar and see what it comes up with. And there's my per linear foot right there and I'm good to go. So I can replace that line item on my line item list. So um, three ways to search. And side note, if you want to get back to your reference search, if you like that showing all the time, you want to go back to home on your search screen. And then you're going to want to click on reference search. So that's what that's called with those pictures. Those are usually, that's, that's what defaults to um, showing most of the time is the reference search. But hey, if you get off on a wild tangent and you need to get back there, just follow the bread trail home is what they always say. So home and then reference search is what that search by picture um, is there. And uh, yeah, that about wraps up uh, pretty much everything you need to know about search. And I uh, hope that will be useful to you. My name is Alina Wilson from Xactimate Mastery. Please subscribe below. For more information on what we do, our Xactimate training for contractors, please visit www.xmatemastery.com.